Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Um, so we've all been at a moment where an opportunity arises and we want to be intimate with a fine young lady and we do not have a contraceptive. We do not have a, <laughs> a prophylactic. We do not have a Jimmy hat. We do not have a raincoat for the Johnson. All right. So what do, what do you do? What do you do? Like, you've, you've heard the story of, like, oh, go get a sandwich baggie and put a whatever. You've what? heard. <laughs> no, you just hit it raw, right? Oh, is that what happens? Yeah. I mean. Is that not what you do? <laughs> I mean. I, you, just don't, you just don't smash it raw? No, 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 no. Have no. you ever smashed raw before, Jonas? Ever? I mean, I was married. So, yeah. I don't know. You might have been one of those marriages. <laughs> one of those marriages. <laughs> one of those protected sex I, uh, <laughs> I did all of my part to prevent having a baby I didn't want. Where everyone else I know, except for present company included, had a baby okay. that they did not want, that they were not expecting. So you're not a never nude. A never nude? No, I don't wear jean shorts under my pants. Oh, you do what I was talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. I see the rest of development. Oh! I, I love that show. Okay. We'll get into that in a second. But it's a real was... thing, too, by the way. Never nudes are. Where they wear jean shorts all the time? Uh, people who just feel uncomfortable being nude, yeah. Yeah, I mean, hey. So, yeah, go ahead. there was a couple, and they just, they didn't have a condom. So, they decided the proper way to do it hey. was to seal the tip of his penis with adhesive. So he was like super glued to shut? I don't remember what they used. Bondo or something, maybe? S solder? Not solder. Ah! I'm sorry, Joe. I just gave myself sympathy pains. It it went from my feet to my, my torso. Oh. And I guess um he died from it. Because he went to, he started he fell unconscious. <laughs> they said a friend found him unconscious in the shrubs the day after he checked into the hotel. And then he was taken to the hospital where his condition condition deteriorated weak, uh, deteriorated quickly. Um, How do you die? <laughs> it, he got poisoned from it. What do you mean he got poisoned? He used some sort of adhesive that seeped into his bloodstream and killed him. Okay, so uh, for the uninitiated at home, we have a thing called mucous membranes, and they provide some of the. Uh, the easiest ways for things to well, enter. Well, that's how body. STDs pass so easy because it's the, mucous. It's all mucous membrane. Yeah, the easiest ways for any pathogen to enter the body, as well as medication, it's through a mucous membrane. That would be your mouth, nose, um, tip of the anus, penis, anus, tip of penis, any place that basically leads directly into your body. So yeah, that sucks. So he got poisoning. He got, essentially, yeah. My man's got dick poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> he got knee poisoned. <laughs> so it says here, since they did not have any protection, they decided to apply the adhesive on his private parts to ensure that she does not get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Second quote, they were carrying the adhesive as they addition occasionally used it with whitener to inhale the mixture for a kick. So they were... Brother, come on, man. They we were huffers. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. We ain't gonna sit up here and say he died from dick poisoning when he was huffing the same shit. So he was That's huff what he died He was from. huffing glue and he put it on his pee pee. Yeah. And he died. The shit did not get into his bloodstream. That's my thing. This is my thing. It's like, I don't know if you could put enough of any poison. A, a dick tip hole amount of poison is not going to kill you. It will make you sick, you throw up, you wake up the next day, you're fine. Unless it's like ricin or something. I don't know what's in it. It's I'm just not facts here. I mean, look, I'm just saying is that it's a very funny headline that, the, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, the man's dead, but, you know, he did it. I mean, he did it to himself with his lifestyle. He did do it to himself. He, like, because I would never put adhesive on the tip of my dick. I don't care who you are, lady. What if Oprah came down and she was like, hey, but you got to adhesive for me. Okay, I would do it for her. I would do it for oh, I would do it for Oprah. Yeah, I would. I would. You would I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd I'd glue my whole dick to my stomach. I just I, how, you, <laughs> how you gonna enjoy just, having Oprah as your woman if Nah, dude. I'd super glue that whole some be just like straight to my belly button, dude. Look like Spider Man just came and webbed it to my my, my Wow. Gut. For it's, Oprah? It's, yeah, yeah, I would. I'd do that for Oprah. For Oprah. 
I, I do. I How really, old is Oprah now? I don't care. It doesn't matter. I hope she watches the podcast. <laughs> Yeah, she's out. Hope the new episode of The Crazy Town dropped. I got nothing better to do. I mean, look, if anybody out there knows Oprah and you can get this message to her, please tell her she that. She is 69. I, that's the perfect n- number. Right now. Nice. She is a billionaire. She's fine wine. $2.5 billion. I don't care about the money, Jonas. I care about the the. You don't beauty. care about the, about the money? I do not. You know, I care about her beauty and her grace, her poise. Her demeanor. Ooh, she a magical woman? She's a debutante, and she deserves to be treated like one, you know? Mm. I, like then, the, I like the way that you talk her up. And then we can go to Turks Caicos after that. Oh, you want to go to Turks and Caicos with yeah, her? Yeah, I do. And then Dubai after that. Oh, she going to build you a gold bathtub? That would be cool, too. Yeah. I would never put adhesive on my junk. No, nah, I probably wouldn't either. Not not for like no normal chick, especially not no like uh, adhesive huffing chick. I'm never gonna do it. <laughs> like, He's like, I really want it, but like, you got. We don't want to have a baby because yeah, we're huffers. Yeah, the moment you start huffing adhesive around me, I'm probably not gonna do anything out of my. Have way. you ever been around a girl and you're like, oh, you got a problem, and that was it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can you can you tell the story with it not being too uh like identifiable? Uh yeah. I mean it's just gonna seem like dynamite's line or being weird or just being like un- unnecessarily crass. But I, I did encounter a girl with a sexual addiction and uh it was uh it was pretty crazy. I was just like, Okay, it's a little too much. Wow, me. she wanted too much. Hmm. Yeah. Or, or the things that the, the like it wasn't about the sex; it was about the things as part of the sex. I mean, have you ever been asked something sexual that you were just like, "I'm not doing that," and I'm not just talking about like the lady who bit your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about her. <laughs> not the nipple biter. Yeah, you're not just no. I, well, yeah. I mean, people people sometimes want you to do stuff, and you're like, "Oh, yeah." Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, there's a line in the sand for everybody. It depends how far down the beach you I'll are. I'll tell you right now, man. One of my lines in the sand is, "I don't know why you want me to put it in your butt." I don't understand that. You want me to, my dick is, I wash my dick every day. <laughs> and you want me to put my dick inside your dirty ass and you shit out of that. You want me to put my dick in that? Are um, you insane? Hmm. What, do you, do y'all get shit on my dick, do you know <laughs> shit on my dick, right? <laughs> Who gets pleasure out of this? I'm not going to enjoy myself because I'm going to be thinking of my sh- dick after that for the next 30 minutes. I'm gonna be like, I got a shit nick all day. I'm gonna go to take a piss, smell my fingers, and it's gonna smell like shit. I don't want my dick to smell like shit. I mean, okay. I had a different edge of the spectrum. Like, I go was give me say, something. Give me something. Gonna talk, and make I, it equally as funny. It's the whole dick shit. That was, I mean, I, you heard me laughing. I couldn't even talk. It was so funny. We'll make it funnier. You talk about words. Make I it mean, funnier. Uh, I went on a date with this girl, and I met her at Buffalo Wild Wings. Did you try to shit on your dick? No. Okay. Uh, she was sitting at the bar when I got there. She was already drunk. Fair enough. And she just kept taking pills. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was like, you want some of these? And I was like, what? I want some of these? And I was like, no, nah, I'm good. You didn't ask what they were? Fuck no. I need to know what they are. If she's at the bar drunk taking pills, that's enough. But you know and then we are. went to the movies, and she got up like six times during the movies. And I was like... Six so, times. Geez, I don't know what she was doing. Cocaine. I was just like... Bro, it's, it's so odd to me. Because it's like, I guess I, we live pretty normal, boring lives. I could not Super imagine boring. what it would be like to actually be like a functioning drug addict. Or a functioning alcoholic. Like, it, it must be really tough. Especially when you think of, like, them trying to go out on a date. And you can't control yourself enough with a person. That who, you don't even know. You have a clean slate right now. All you got to do is control yourself enough to act like a normal person for four hours. And you can't even do that. Yeah. You got to go get your fix in the bathroom. Yeah, like, I mean, I used to smoke cigarettes, so, I mean, I guess, like, I know the addiction. I mean, just the thing about, like, oh, my God, I gotta go have a cigarette, or, like, I gotta stop the car and go have a cigarette. I gotta stop work and go have a cigarette, like, and that was bad enough, and that's not crack or meth or alcohol or sex or, like, whatever. Yeah, I I, I, I still feel like it's a little bit different, because, 
like a smoker, you don't give a smoker a cigarette, they get they get mad a little bit. And then like it's cool because the cigarette's always gonna be available, but with like alcohol and drugs, it's like one, they're not always available. And two, that anger tends to just be a little bit more extreme. Oh, it it explodes, yeah, man. Yeah, it's it's with drugs and like oh, yeah, and hey, get help if you need it. Go to crazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. We out.